Hey everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA with an important message for us Southern Californians. Um, we're undergoing the worst drought in the history of record keeping. I mean, in over 100 years, we've not experienced this type of drought. Um, there's a statistic out there by Cornell University that uh, this is 20, the year 2014, and they believe that we are in the third year of a 10 year drought. There's an 80% chance of that happening. Already, three years of drought has crippled us uh, as, uh, here in Southern California, at least as far as water goes. Uh, food prices are going sky high, water prices are going sky high, and it's affecting a lot of things. And so I wanted to show you here, I wanted to demonstrate how you can save water, do your part as a homeowner. A uh, homeowner called us up and says, Mike, we have a style of house that just cries for grass. We're going to do grass. We'd like you to do the best thing that you know how. So what we did was we decided we were going to go with a rainbird subsurface underground drip irrigation for the little bit of grass that's going to go here. And then the planters, we're actually going to use the same stuff, but we're going to put late on top of the ground. No, uh, what we're going to do is here is we're going to show you an example of how to put drip irrigation with roses. And roses suck up tons of water, so does water. Well, excuse me, so does grass. However, we're going to show you how it's done, and then we're going to make another video after this is all done. But just wanted to come, come and follow me. I wanted to show you uh, what's going on here. So, right, it all starts with the valves, and uh, there's a few things. If you're going to have this done, uh, we don't service everywhere other than the South Bay of, Lo of Los Angeles, uh, Hermosa, Redondo, Manhattan Beach. But here's the Rainbird valves. This is a valve, and it uh, shoots water when the, when the timer says go on, shoot let, uh, needle. Uh, uh, pulls up and it shoots water down. But these are special valves by Rainbird that um, are built specifically for drip irrigation. Here's a, uh, this thing here is the filter. This actually filter out, filters out any sediments because you don't want any sediments going through. It'll plug up your drip irrigation lines from the inside the line. And you clean them out once a year. This is called a clean out. So when the valve is on, you turn that on, you flush it once a year and then you're good to go. It keeps the line clean. And this is called an air relief valve over here. So a valve, uh, excuse me, drip irrigation is like a big balloon underneath the ground. So when the valve says turn on, it shoots a lot of water at high velocity. Um, it needs to let air out, so that's what that does. So these things ensure that your system is gonna basically last forever. And, they'll, and then, so the boys are just covering up the drip irrigation here, you can see. But they just laid lines every 12 inches they laid one about two inches from the, the concrete, then they went over another 12 inches, another 12 inches. We're going to lay grass on top of here. So this is a, a subsurface drip irrigation, and it's uh, the, the way to do it. Now, you notice the roses over here actually have, uh, we're going to be putting other plants here, a lot of color. And so you can still have aesthetically pleasing, beautiful landscaping. And you can have it with just a minimum of water. We estimate it'll save about 60% of water. No runoff. I'd like to get a, a, a picture, or excuse me, a little video here of what's going on over here. You see there's a, there's a, a hillside going up here. So neighbors have sprinklers that actually have overspray on the street. And you can see this overspray on the street here. Unnecessary waste. But you don't get that with drip <laughs> irrigation. So we're gonna finish this side over here and then we've already got the, on this side we've got the planters all done. And then we're gonna start the subsurface drip irrigation for grass is gonna go right here long. It's a homeowner's choice. Ours is not to judge. We give them what the choices are. They want grass. Uh, we, we tell them uh, the options and then they make the decision based upon their needs and their desires, but at least they're going to do the environmentally uh, sensitive thing and the environmentally right thing to do, subsurface drip irrigation. Uh, the machine over here is, this is a, a special trencher that only goes about three inches, three to four inches down, and that's what enables us to go so fast with the drip irrigation, and it makes the lines, and then we lay them, and we cover them back up, and we're good to go. It's, gonna, it, it's a great little project, but just illustrates that we in Southern California don't have to just kill our grass. Uh, you, know, we, uh, uh, you don't have to te tear your grass out and just put gravel with a couple pieces of cactus. This is an amazingly beautiful garden. It's gonna be stunning once it's done, and it's gonna use just a fraction of the water it used to use.
So this is Mike from Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.